We've all misplaced files or inadvertently moved them or perhaps someone has been using our computer and moved them somewhere that we weren't expecting. Or maybe someone's using a folder and they want us to find something for them. There is a way to search for these and using Windows XP I can actually go into Start, choose Search and you'll see that a search window comes up and you'll see on the left hand side here that I've got options to choose which include pictures, documents such as Word, Excel, PowerPoints, I can look for any file or folder and I've also got that I can look if I'm on a network for computers or people. I'm going to look for a Word document and it's called, all I can remember is that I called it January. So I'm just going to click on that and you'll see that there's options here for when it was last modified and what they mean by modified is when it was last saved. So it could be the first time that you saved it or subsequent ones after that. You'll see that there's a few options here that you don't remember, so it could be any dates within the last week. So you can actually search for something in the last week or even in the last month or last year without even giving it a file name. And I happen to know that I called it January. I've just typed in Jan because I remember that it is called January, but I might have misspelt it, but I've probably got the first three letters right, at least I hope so. When I say misspelt January, I mean I might have just done a typing error. So I've just put in Jan for this, and when I search, we'll look for Jan in any part of that file name, or even for a folder called Jan or January. So I'm just going to click on search, and you'll see here that it's now come up immediately with some search results. And there I can see the file that I've got. And I can see whereabouts I saved it by simply right-clicking on that file and down here choosing Properties. A little dialog box will come up and I can see here that it is stored in my documents in a folder called Gary's Work. So I could open that file now. Now that I know where it is, I could potentially move it. But if I want to open it, all I have to do is double-click and that file will then open.